time when his son got back. Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Say, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. Amen. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together. Believing the word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit. Power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to start going through the word of God from the book of John chapter 4, verse number 52. The Bible says that when he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. For us to understand what the Bible is talking about, we'll start from verse number 46. When the Bible says that once more he visited Cana of Galilee, where he turned water into wine. There was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. This man heard that Jesus Christ had arrived in Galilee from Judea. He went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. The Bible says that there was a man, the man, this man, the Bible says that, you know, he had a problem that his son was sick, but he heard that Jesus Christ has come to town. And the Bible says that, you know, it was not the first time Jesus Christ was, was in Cana. There was another time where he came in Cana and Jesus Christ performed a miracle. Then when Jesus Christ performed a miracle again now, there was uh, this time again that Jesus Christ have come. And there was someone also who have heard that Jesus Christ have arrived. And the Bible says, when he heard that Jesus Christ have come, this man went to Jesus. When he went to Jesus, in verse number 14, and the royal official said, Say, come down before my child dies. And the Bible said that Jesus replied, Your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and he departed. Then that means... La Kratova son Toloboshian Talabaha Rakatoposian Tarabashian Talabason Torobo. That means, you know, there was this man who heard that Jesus Christ have come. And when he have heard that Jesus Christ have come, he went and told Jesus, Please come and pray for my son. He must come and pray for his son. His son was sick. And the Bible says that Jesus only spoke a word and told this man and said that, Go, your son will live. Go, your son will live. 
And the Bible says that the man took Jesus at his word and he departed. Then what we are reading in verse number 52, the Bible says that when he inquired as to the time when the sun got better, they said to him yesterday at one afternoon, the fever left him. And if you are following very well, that means the Bible is trying to say to us, this man heard what Jesus Christ have said. He was given a word. As he was given a word, he believed. As he believed, according to what Jesus Christ have said, things turn around. Immediately when Jesus Christ spoke a word, sometimes, no matter what you're going through, only thing that you need is the word of God. Amen. It's the word that God can speak to your situation through his servant, like what you are hearing here. The Bible says that Jesus only said that, go, your son will live. And as Jesus Christ has said, it came to pass. Amen. Then sometimes all you need is a word. The word that is coming from God, the word that is coming from the Lord, it carries power to cause changes. It carries power in order to cause a miracle. Amen. Most of the time, when Jesus Christ have to solve problems, challenges, he spoke word, he gave word. For example, when the Bible talks about the time, the time when Peter was struggling to catch a fish, what did Jesus Christ did? The Bible said that Jesus Christ just told Peter, Peter, throw your net into the side of the boat. And the Bible said that, as he did what the Lord have told him, he was surprised and he caught the fish that he could not catch. And he have to call others to come and help me to pick up the nets. Then that means sometimes only, only thing that you need for your breakthrough is the spoken word. Spoken word towards your situation. When you take God in accordance to the spoken word, you will get your miracle. You will get your breakthrough. Amen. Amen. The Bible talks Amen. about also the other time when they were looking for the tax money to pay the tax for Jesus. And for Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus said to Peter, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, get a fishing line and go and fish. And the first fish that you're going to catch, you're going to get money. That money, you're going to use it to pay Jesus' tie tax and Peter's tax. The only thing that Jesus Christ did was to speak a word. No wonder Jesus said that the words that I have spoken are full of spirit and they are full of life. They are full of spirit, they are full of life, they are full of anointing, they are full of power. They are full of power Amen. to carry out what Jesus Christ speaks about. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you have got a certain problem. Sometimes you have got a certain challenge. Only thing that you need is the word. Amen. Amen. That word carries power. Dynamite, dunamis. The power to cause changes. Amen. Amen. The Bible talks about one day there was a certain woman by the name of Hannah. The Bible said that Hannah, she went to the house of God and she began to cry. 
She wept and cried bitterly. And the Bible says that as she was crying bitterly, the Bible says she was crying there. The man of God, by the name of Eli, he saw her crying, praying crazily. And he said that, why do you approach there and say, why do you come to the house of God drunk? And the Bible said that, Anna said that, no, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just pouring my heart to the Lord. And the Bible said that, Eli, Eli said to her, don't worry, your prayer requests have been granted. What you've been asking for have been granted. And the Bible says that Hannah went. Indeed, she carried her baby. Indeed, she carried her Samuel. And he, she's carrying her Samuel after just when the men of God have spoken. And what the men of God Amen. have spoken was fulfilled in her life. Amen. Amen. Hannah is not giving... Uh, is not given anything tangible. The only thing that Hannah is being given is the word of God. Amen. And Amen. when when she has been given the word of God, indeed her story turn around. Amen. Amen. Then sometimes all you need is the word all you need is God speaking to your situation Amen. and when God Amen. has spoken to your situation your story will change Amen. your situation will change Amen. I'm saying to you tonight I don't know what you are looking for I don't know what you are believing God for. But I'm saying to you, may your story change in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May your everything turn around for your good in Jesus' name. Amen. May Amen. God answer your prayer request in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the event of this man, the Bible says that in the event of this man, the Bible says that when Jesus Christ has spoken a word, he arrived at home. When he arrived, while he was still on his way, the Bible says, actually, in verse number 51, his servant met him with the news that the boy was living. The boy was Amen. healed. When he Amen. inquired to as which time his son got better, they said to him, yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. And verse number 53, the Bible said that, then the father realized that he, this was exact exact time which Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So Amen. his whole household believe. Then the Bible says that, you know, Amen. this man is still on the way and is meeting his servant from his house and they told him that the son is well, the son is healed. When he asked, ah, at what time did the son begin to amend? At what time did the son begin to recover? They told him that at one in the afternoon. And you realize that was exact time that Jesus Christ had spoken a word. Amen. Amen. To show that it was Amen. not a coincidence. It was not by mistake. It was not uh. by incident. It was not by mistake. It was God moving. In respond Amen. for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
May God give you a sign. May God give you a wonder. May God give you the confirmation. Amen. That Amen. whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven. Amen. That Amen. if Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that. Let us go to the book of John chapter 5 verse number 3. The Bible says that here a great number of disabled people used to lie. The blind, the lame, the paralyzed. And the Bible says, the Bible says in verse number 4, there was also one who have been there and invalid for 38 years. Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time and he asked him, Do you want to get well? Amen. Say, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool. When the water is stirred, while I'm trying to get in, someone else goes ahead of me. The Bible is talking about there was a man in the pool of Bethesda. This was at the pool of Bethesda. And the Bible said that this man used to be in the pool. And the Bible doesn't say that he had been there for one year. The Bible said that he had been there. For about 38 years. Four years. Amen. Amen. And this was the different kind of a pool. It was a pool which they they believed that an angel will come. Just to come. And stir the water. Once the angel have stirred the water. The first person to enter. Used to get his miracle. But the Bible said that. As this used to happen. But there was a man who had been there for 38 years. No matter how many times the angel used to come, this man could not go inside the water. And the Bible says, when Jesus Christ arrived there, by just looking and he, he see this man, and he realized, no, this man has been here for, 30, for long, without even asking a question. And they begin to have compassion on him because this man he had been there for quite some time. And Jesus Christ began to talk to the man. And he says that, do you want to get well? Do you want to be healed? Amen. Then the Amen. issue is, this man who had been invalid for 30 years, he does not know who is, who is talking to him. He thinks that it's just a stranger talking to him. A stranger asking him question that he may ask him question and do nothing about. He's used. He's used that people come. Yes, people come. Sometimes they come with their own problem. Most of the, actually everyone who's there was sick anyway. Then he, he's used that people usually come here. Some, they've got their own problem. Some, they are also sick. And he's hearing this man asking him. And they think maybe he's just asking him just to ask. But he was not just this time. It was the Lord visiting him. And the Lord this time, he was not asking just for information's sake. He was asking in order to perform a miracle. He was asking Amen. in order to turn his situation around. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we go to places to pray for people. And sometimes, you know, because sometimes people, because they have been prayed for, and maybe prayed for and nothing happened, sometimes they've lost faith. The Lord's face, and when you say that, okay, let us close our eyes, let us pray. They think, yeah, this is just another kind of prayer which is just going to be prayed, and nothing is going to happen. 
Whereas, no, not everyone prays like that. Huh? Some people, when they pray, they know what they are doing. Some people, when they pray, they know what they are doing, and they was going. If you receive their prayer, there is going to be the results. Amen. Amen. Then that is very, very much important because this man, he is used that people come and ask questions just for information's sake, that they ask and do nothing. But this time, he does not realize that the one who is asking is Alpha and Omega. The one who is Amen. asking is a miracle worker. Amen. The one Amen. who... Who, who is asking now is a specialist in miracles. Amen. 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 It's God who have visited him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes this thing happens, you know, sometimes the people they hear, people hear preaching us, preaching the gospel, and they think, we have heard so many, many pastors preaching the gospel. What is going to be the difference here? Because they've had so many messages. But not knowing that this one, this one is different. Jesus Christ has sent us. God is with us. And if they receive this message, there is going to be a miracle. Amen. I don't know. I don't know Amen. whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. I don't know if there is somebody who have given up, who have given up, who have been in the pool for such a long time, who have tried this, who have tried that, and nothing could work, and is about to give up and begin to Amen. believe. That there is no way out. I'm here to tell somebody that somebody, it is not over until God says in O is over. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ has visited you today. Amen. As Amen. Jesus Christ has visited Amen. you today, He's not just visiting you for the sake of visiting you. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. And something which is so critical and something which is so special is that when Jesus Christ visit, when Jesus Christ visit, it is not as if an angel has visited you. Because you know, this one, this man is used and is expecting an angel that comes to the pool of Bethesda that stares the water. An angel Amen. that God has sent, which usually God used to send, but this time it was not an angel that God has sent. It was God who have appeared. It was God who have come. Amen. God who have appeared, Amen. God who have come, and this time he have come by himself that anyone he lays hand to, God healed. Amen. Anyone Amen. He re who received his word and do what he say that he must do comes out with a miracle. Amen. Comes out Amen. with a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. That is very, very much important to understand that Jesus Christ has said, where two or three comes together in my name, there I am in their midst. Amen. Amen. Actually, this is very, very much important to understand because there is somebody who is looking for a miracle but is going like, I wish I was at the pool of Bethesda where this angel will come. If this angel could have come, maybe he was going to stir up the water and I will be the first one and got my miracle. But oh, Amen. Amen. I'm in the different dispensation. Amen. Amen. I wish, somebody may be saying, I wish I was this man. 
I wish I was this man who Jesus Christ was talking to. Because if I hear his word and I do what he's talking about, I will get my miracle. Amen. Amen. I'm here to say to you tonight, Jesus Christ is here. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And the Bible says that if two of you come together in my name, Jesus said that there I am in their midst. Also today, there is no reason for that that problem to stay. There is no reason for that sickness to stay. There is no reason for that challenge to stay. Amen. There is no reason to remain in the pool for another year. Amen. For another Amen. day. Amen. The only Amen. thing that you have to do is to do what Jesus Christ has told this man. Amen. But the Bible says that in verse number 8. The Bible says, Jesus said to him, Get up and pick up your mat and walk. Amen. Amen. I don't, Jesus Christ was saying, I don't know and I don't care for how long you have been here. Enough is enough. Amen. That's Amen. why this time he's not sending an angel. That's why just this time Jesus Christ has come. You just have to stand up Amen. and carry your mat and go. Hallelujah. Amen. The Amen. only thing that you have to do is to act, act on faith. Amen. Is to, when you hear that word of God, act on faith. What is it to act on faith? Somebody's asking, what is it? How do I act on faith? For example, this man knew that he can't walk. This man knew that he's invalid. But when he, 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 cannot, he could not walk and he was invalid, when he knew that, when he heard the word, that said that, hey, get up and pick up your mat and walk. If he does so, and when he do so, that's what he call faith. Amen. Amen. Trying to do so. If he does Amen. not have faith, Amen. Amen. that's what you have to do. In most of the circumstances that you need a miracle, that you need a breakthrough, you be, have to begin to act on faith. Amen. Begin to act on faith. Act on faith. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, you know, some people are healed already. After prayer, I've told you, stand up and walk, you are healed. That woman begin to give a lot of acts. You are healed. Stand up, check yourself, you are free. As long as you are sleeping on that bed, she's telling me about the stories of your pain. The woman, I knew she was healed. There are, Amen. there are people who their prayers have been answered. Amen. But the problem, they are not. Amen. They are not standing up. It has happened before. Sometimes I was at the hospital. When I was at the hospital, I prayed for the somebody who's sick. I prayed for the person. I felt the power of God moving, touching him or her. And I knew this one was healed. And as I stand up from her bed, you are healed. And they were so scared. They were so scared. They did not stand up. They just say, yeah, pastor, I believe. I believe what you're talking about. <laughs> but they did not want to stand up. And in reality, they are healed. If they stand up, they will find out that they are, they are healed. Sometimes the problem is that they may end up even losing their miracle. 
because they are not acting on faith. Amen. Amen. Sometimes there, when you stand up, the angel is there. He's just waiting for you to act on faith and he takes it away. Amen. Sometimes the Holy Ghost, when that person acts on faith, he is just going to perfect that miracle. Amen. Then the man of God is going to go. Who knows whether that angel will stay there? And uh, and the sickness will also be comfortable because you have seen ah, this one does not believe. Amen. This one does. Amen. 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 Then when the word of God have been given, you must grab the Amen. opportunity. You must make the most out of it. Amen. You must Amen. act towards the word. Amen. And Amen. you are going to be surprised. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says that in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1. Verse number 37. In the NIV vision. The Bible says that for no word from God will ever fail. No word from God will ever fail in this vision. Amen. The word Amen. that is coming from God, that has been spoken to your situation, no matter what that situation is, if you take it and you believe it and you don't doubt it, it will produce what it talks about. Amen. Amen then every time a prayer is offered, the word is given, instruction is given. It's an opportunity that you must dive into, you must grab it, and you get your miracle. Amen. Amen. Every time that word is spoken, that prayer is offered, that instruction is given, it's an opposite. You, as a child of God, you must dive to it. Amen. Amen. And that diving is called faith. Amen. That acting is called faith. Amen. And when you have Amen. to act on faith, you don't have to think. Amen. Because the problem is when you think. That when you think and try to make sense out of it, you begin to doubt. Amen. When you doubt, Amen. you lose your miracle. Amen. Amen. Like for example. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Bible says, one day, Jesus Christ let his disciple to, to be in the boat. To go ahead in the boat. And the Bible said that after when they were in the in the lake, there was a huge storm. And as there was a huge storm, Jesus Christ followed, walking on top of water. As he followed walking on top of water, they look at Jesus, they look on this being walking on top of water, and they begin to think it's a ghost looking at Jesus. They don't know that it was Jesus. And they were scared as they were storm. They were scared as they were scared. And the Bible said that as they were scared and being shouting, the Bible said that Jesus said that, don't be afraid. It is I. And Peter says that, if it is you, Lord, tell me to come. Just speak a word. I know your word is powerful. There is nothing that you can say it cannot come to pass. I believe in your word. Just speak a word. And the Bible said that. Yeah. Jesus said to Peter, come. And the Bible said that after when the Lord Jesus Christ had said, come, Peter began to try to walk on top of water. And he walked. He was walking on top of water. He was doing the impossible. But the Bible said that uh, Peter took off his eyes from Jesus. He looked on, to, on the water. He looked on the storms. He began to see the wave. 
He begins to think, he begins to doubt, and he begins to think. Uh. And Jesus said that. Why did you doubt? You were doing the impossible. You were walking on top of it. Why did you doubt? And he reached out his hand. And he picked him out. Amen. And he stood on top of what Amen. I did. Then, you know, when you are, when Peter listened to Jesus, and take Jesus at his word, he did the impossible, and, and that's what we call acting on faith. The problem it is when he's trying to make th- sense out of it. The problem is when he's trying to think. When the word of God has been spoken, you have to believe. Amen. Amen. When I'm talking about this, you know, sometimes there are people who calls, they call for prayer. When they call for prayer, and uh, I prayed for them and say amen. When we have said amen, they want to explain their problem again. Which problem again? Because pro- prayer was a solution. Then you, <laughs> you must believe that it is done, it is answered. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. After prayer, that problem does not exist. Amen. But the problem to show that person you have got a problem Amen. of believing the prayer, the person is still saying, he still continues to explain. You don't. Amen. After prayer, you are about to dive now. Amen. And that anointing Amen. will cause you, you are, you are whatever that you have believed for and pray for to manifest. Amen. Amen. There's no need to worry. Amen. There's no need to doubt. Amen. What is only left Amen. is to grab that prayer Amen. and say, My problem Amen. does not exist. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, as a child of God, know how wow. to act on faith. Acting on faith. Acting on faith is that after prayer you expect the reality of what you are praying Amen. about. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You expect what? Amen. The reality of what you were praying about. Amen. That it is real. Anyway, because of time, wherever you are, begin to pray. Begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to pray. Araba sonto lobo shandaraba. Araba yento lobo shandaraba. Araba sonto lobo shandaraba yade. Manta Ara ba ya te ya ba ya do, yo wa yo wa ya na ba 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 
Of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. 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 And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wherever you are, receive your miracle. Receive every answer that you want. The pool of Bethesda have been stirred. Have been stirred. Receive every blessing. Receive every breakthrough. 
Yes, just receive that answer. Send the fire wherever you want to see a miracle. Everywhere you want to send a miracle, send that fire. Send that anointing. In our jobs, in our cars, in our houses, in our bank accounts, in our businesses. My mind, in the name of Jesus Christ. Refuse to be at the pool and the Lord is here. Amen. And you Amen. come out without a miracle. Amen. You must Amen. be having an attitude that by fire, by force, I get out of the pool of Bethesda with my testimony. Amen. And so Amen. shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today is day number three of our prayer and fasting. Continue to fast, continue to pray, and continue to plant a seed as you do so. You shall see the answers of your prayers in Jesus' name. And I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. Bye. Amen. Bye bye.